Save Emails and Attachments is a powerful Google add-on that helps you download email messages and file attachments from your Gmail account to Google Drive automatically. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of using this add-on. Let's get started. First, let's install the add-on. Go to this link which is also mentioned in the description box to install. Once you install the add-on, you will be required to grant certain permissions because it needs to access your Gmail account. Be assured that all of your data stays private and none of it is shared, stored or uploaded anywhere. Now before we start creating a workflow, let us open Google Drive and create a new folder in which all the email messages and attachments will be saved. I'll be saving all the newsletters that I have received in the last few months so I'll create a new folder named newsletters so that it will be easy to identify later. Now that it's done, let's open a Google spreadsheet by typing sheet.new in the browser's address bar. Go to the extensions menu and open save emails and attachments to launch the add-on. Since we haven't created any workflow yet, I'll create a new workflow. Now this will open a step-by-step -step wizard which will help me set up my workflow. The first step in the workflow is to specify the search criteria for the emails you wish to download. As you can see, the Save Emails add-on offers a simplified interface which is very similar to the filters in Gmail. For this workflow, I want to download newsletters that I have received over the last 6 months. In my Gmail, all the newsletters go to a separate label that I have created called Newsletters. I want to download mails for the past 6 months, so I'll set the after date accordingly. This is the search query that has been generated by the add-on. Click on this link and you will be redirected to your Gmail. As you can see, all the mails that match our search criteria have been filtered here. Now this is a really good way to test if we have correctly constructed our search query. Let's go back to the workflow and continue. In this section, I'll specify the location in my Google Drive where I want the files to be saved. Here we'll specify the parent folder. So let's click choose. This is the Google file picker window containing all the existing folders in our Google Drive. As I have already created a new folder called newsletters in my drive, I'll just select that. Now the Save Emails add-on can create numerous subfolders inside the parent folder to systematically store the saved emails and attachments. So for instance, if you specify your slash month name, the add-on will first create yearly folders inside the parent folder, then inside the yearly folders, month-wise folders will be created. The emails will be segregated accordingly and stored inside their respective folders based on the month and year in which they were received. This feature is extremely useful in case you have a lot of emails and attachments to save as it avoids cluttering the parent folder. You can also create subfolders based on sender, sender's domain, subject and so on. Moving on, in this section, we will define file settings for email messages and attachments. Here we have a list of dynamic markers to name the individual files for email messages. I am going ahead with sender name followed by subject. So for instance, if I have received a newsletter from the Fruit Inc. with the subject latest software updates, the email will be saved as the Fruit Inc. dash latest software updates. Now in what format do I want the emails to save? Let's go ahead with PDF. You may also choose HTML, EML or plain text format. Now here we have to specify the name in which attachments will be saved. It is pretty much the same as naming email message files. We just have a couple of more markers like attachment name, attachment base and so on. All this is fine. Let's hit continue. 
Now the last step is to give a name to this workflow. The add-on records all the Google Drive links to the saved files in a Google Sheet. Here we have to give a name to the sheet and a separate sheet with the same name will be created in the active Google Spreadsheet by the add-on. Our workflow is complete. Let's save and run this workflow. The add-on is processing and downloading all the email messages and attachments that match our search query. It's done. Have a look at this sheet. All the Google Drive links have been added here, beautifully formatted and in a very organized manner. You won't have to spend time trying to locate these files in your Google Drive whenever you need them. Just open this sheet and you have everything in one place. The log date column in this sheet contains the date when the email was processed and saved by the save emails add-on. Message date column is when the message was received. Next is message subject which contains links to the original message in your Gmail. File name contains the link to the saved email message and attachment. Notice that the file is named as per the custom name given while creating the workflow. Last is folder path. This column contains the breadcrumb style structure of folders in the Google Drive. Let's create another workflow and this time I'll guide you through some of the most useful features of this add-on which can come very handy while saving emails from Gmail. Let's start. Now to make another workflow, I can either build another one from scratch or I can simply duplicate an existing one and make the changes required. For this example, I'll create another one from scratch. Now for this workflow, I want to save all emails containing my financial statements that I have received in the last four months. So I'm going to specify the word statement in the subject line. You have a lot of advanced options available to make your search query more specific. I'm going to choose has attachment and file name PDF. Doing this will make sure that only those emails which contain PDF type attachments are saved by the add-on. I will also select this marker newer than 4 months. You also have a lot of other search operators that you can use. The description for each of these is there in the documentation on our website the link for which has been mentioned in the description box. Let's continue. The Save Emails and Attachments add-on also supports shared drives. I have already created a folder inside my shared drive named Financial Statements, so I'll just select that. I want all the saved email messages and attachments to be very organized inside the parent folder. So here is the subfolder path. I'll specify year, month name, sender domain. The folder following the slash will be created as a subfolder inside the folder preceding it. Moving on. Let's keep the file name and format as it is. For attachments, I want them to be named as sender domain and date. Here we also have some more options for downloading attachments. Sometimes there are icons and images attached in the mail which are very small in size so we can choose to ignore those files from being downloaded. Here we can specify the type of attachments that we want to save for example PDF files, PNG, JPG etc. You can also specify a particular extension that you do not want to be saved here. Now this option can overwrite or replace the content of an existing file in the Google Drive without changing the name or location of the file. This feature is very useful when you receive recurring emails, say every week and do not want each mail attachment to be saved separately. This is the last step.
Now the add-on also has the option to automatically download emails in the background. If this is selected, the add-on will run every hour and if there is any new mail matching with the search query, it will be saved. And we're done. Let's run the workflow. All the required email messages and attachments have been saved here. Now let's open Google Drive and check out how they're saved. I saved them in my shared drive, so I'll go there. Here is the folder. As you can see, the add-on has perfectly created subfolders inside the parent folder. These are the four folders for the last four months. Another folder for the sender's domain. These are the message and attachment files. To know more about how the add-on works and other features, click on this link mentioned in the description. Do not forget to check out more of such useful Google add-ons on our website, digitalinspiration.com.